Hello and welcome everybody, I'm James Rose and this is Boulders Gate 3. We are back in this fancy looking tomb ruin thing uh, where we have these nice elf people, druidy people. They're, they're definitely friendly. Um, we, we realised we didn't really know exactly what was going on because we were both bumbling around a bit. Uh, so Jim is going to very nicely explain that for us now. Yep, so Clyde, in between the sessions, uh, or rather while we were having a quick rest on these stairs, was messing around with the Weave, which is the uh, magical plane that connects all of the realms. And in doing so, he was able to connect with an alternate universe of himself, uh, who basically uh, was had explored uh, this entire area, learning everything we needed to know up until this point. So effectively, this town, uh, it's just a sacred grove for these druid people, uh, currently being led by Korga, who is the elf lady just down behind us right now. And effectively, because of the recent attacks by the goblins and their uh, group, uh, it seems to be a far more um, organized uh, set of raids compared to the usual just hit and run tactics of the, uh, of the goblins. The uh, druids here have decided that they're going to perform a ritual which locks away their sacred grove away from everybody else. But in the process, that means that the hellspawns, or sorry, the tieflings that uh, we've been encountering in the town outside, effectively are having to, they're being kicked out. Uh, they, they can't stay around as they are not druids. They're not part of the ritual. So... That's why we keep seeing a whole lot of people panicking and worrying because it's like, oh no, what are we going to do now? We're, 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 we're screwed. We're, we have to go outside into the wilds and we're 10 days away from Baldur's Gate. We are going to get destroyed by these goblins along the way. And that pretty much leads us up to where we are now. If we check our journal... Uh, let's I was literally see. just looking at that. <laughs> uh... As far as checking the journal, we're still looking to find a healer, which is why we've come to the Grove ourselves. Um, we've been told to speak to Korga to because well, she wants to speak to us. Other than that, though, uh, we we do not know much about why we're here. So, yeah, uh, that's what Clyde found out in his adventure. Okay, cool. So the only other thing I'm going to add to that um, is I, I was looking at the um, character creation and I, I had a look at Astarian's like description. I don't think we should be trusting him very much. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Um, Clyde was also given a fortuitous warning uh, <laughs> during his adventure. Um, it our vampire be okay friend, for now. Our vampire friend in the long run may not be super trustworthy. So we, sh I want to keep him around because I think he'll be a cool character. But I, mm. we need to keep an eye on him so that he doesn't like betray us at a bad moment or something. Because obviously we don't know what's going to happen in the greater thing of the story. But it is implied that he's not the best of chaps. Yeah, I do find it very interesting how... Uh... The game tries to keep his vampirism hidden, but we've pretty much it's already always, sussed it He out, has red eyes and point. bites on his neck, so even with... Uh, and his teeth are huge! Like, the guy's a... <laughs> yeah. He, he, he's a quite obvious vampire. And so you can yeah. see it in the um, the character customization window, so it's not like it's going to be a main plot point. That, oh, wow, he's a vampire! Who knew? No, it's, I think we're supposed to know that. Yeah. Um, I, I, I kind of want to have a conversation with him later where he reveals it to us and we're just like, yeah, no shit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so should we go talk to uh, Korga? That seems like a good idea. Yes. There's uh, also rats on the floor. Or should know. you continue with your um, uh, aggressive diplomatic? Uh, I think this requires a bit of aggression. Go on. Yes, I agree. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Now I'm just staring her out. Actually, I'm just going to agree with her. You're protecting your own. Sometimes cruelty is required. First, you urge grace. Then you Will disapproves. Truth. To think a devil could surprise me twice over. A She's a bit of a racist as well. The viper's fangs I'm a very bed. surprising devil. Well, that's what she we've must learned. Guard her brood. You don't know what I'm going to do next. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus and the right. Oh yeah, that was wounded. what the child stole, by the way. We will seal the okay. idol. 
Free from harm. Free of intruders. Uh, I can I can be a um, tiefling supporter here if I want to. Well, you are a tiefling. Go on then. Let's let's, let's go. I, I I don't. To be fair, I don't think you need to be super nice to the tieflings just because they're tieflings. But I want to do it because it's We've a a specific option that I can do. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. That's what I do. Oh, I she didn't you answer your question. To the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the Oh, that seems like a reasonable compromise, sure to be fair. If we well. could get them out of here safely. To be gone before final prayer. The issue is safely. If they are not, the Viper That's what you're here for. Strike. I'm putting you in charge of that. Yeah, I'm going to try and find an alternate <laughs> uh, option. Yeah, I'm going to completely do a 180 here and go, Prattle all you want, the refugees aren't my concern. Then they soon know <laughs> the sting of my venom. I feel like that's more in character. Get out. We have no more business. I'm guessing we probably still have the option to go and talk to the guy. Probably. Maybe uh, he'll pay me. I'm going to speak to this dude. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Korga seems dangerous. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Quite literally. There's one just roaming Yeah, around. I'd say that snake's the actual leader. It's just controlling Korga. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. should try and speak to the snake. You can speak to animals. Uh, maybe. That's, that's not a bad idea, actually. I'll see what the snake thinks about the whole <laughs> thing. How did Korga take over the whole grove? She is first druid in Halcyn's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins. Oh, so we could also maybe go get him. But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should if go look for looking him. looking for Halsin, I could look for her. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. How much is anything? How much is anything? <laughs> I've even selected. You are very money motivated, aren't you, my friend? <laughs> I'm a soldier. To be fair, I I'm am a soldier for also hire. in literally my backstory. Clyde's a helpful person, but his coffers are a bit empty at the moment, and he's in need of a new stage. Yeah, that's because I've been so, looting all the gold. Our need is great. Yeah. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. Sounds good to me. Halston is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Probably. I probably will, actually. No, on that note, though, because he mentioned going west, um, we were discussing mm -hmm. before the recording, I'm talking to the audience now, um, that we did miss, it seems the game will want us to go west and we missed something to the east, which are ruins I purposely I avoided because I know they got killed in them during my uh, my testing game before this. So we should probably head uh, back that way and do that and then come back here and continue <laughs> this story. Uh, accidentally, uh, I was trying to get myself to the world overview map and I accidentally clicked on one of the waypoints on the side, so I'm over at the ancient ruins. Oh, so you're actually where we want to go now anyway. Okay. How do... I appear to be in a map of just the underground area. Yeah, right uh, on the right, you see where it says waypoints. Ah, I see. Do you click overgrown <laughs> That's ruins? That's what I accidentally clicked. <laughs> I'm coming to you. We can go from there. That makes. Uh, so uh, Clyde got himself caught in his own silly magics and ended up teleporting out. Um, to be fair, this isn't exactly the waypoint we want to be at. We want to be at the roadside cliffs. That's the closest one. I've just teleported yes. to there. Yeah, let's head over to and then the east. We want to head I east mean, we've still here. got to go and dig up that uh, treasure anyway. Yeah, so I've got, with my map open now, there's an area here I'm circling for the people watching. We need to look in this area because we, we've not looked in it yet. Are you are we gonna uh, go talking north? Or... Sorry? Are you talking north or are you talking towards this, the We'll temple? go this way first. Okay. We have a marker tool. You could, you could point at it. I could, or I could be more mysterious. Since these are ancient ruins, how about I take the lead? Go on then. These are kind of my forte. 
I'll let you lead. If you mess up, though, I'm being in charge again. As tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. Yeah, that but seems we fair. I don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! I love his little motion there, he does. Already. I don't, know what the hell you I don't are, like this thing that I'm standing ship. on. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. See, if it was me doing this, I could just intimidate him, and I'm sure that wouldn't end poorly. Well, uh, I can be quite persuasive. You see, that ship's full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. I think we killed all the monsters. We've also looted everything of value we don't from have it, to, so... We, we, don't, we don't need to tell them that. Well, uh, in that case... Come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Yeah, that's what I always um, say. Second mouse gets the cheese. No? Shut up, Elf. Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. I'm going to get some cheese. I think I did that fairly well. Stand where you are, please. Yeah, I was going to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a minute to I figure out how to do that the first time. But I couldn't figure out how to then get in the hole. Uh, You just walk in. Click the ground underneath it. Oh, can you? Okay. Or jump in, I guess. I'm in. Oh, I'm in combat now. At what? I mean, I jumped in the hole. I'm in combat now. Oh, fuck's sake. Uh, I'll come <laughs> around the back. And I'll, I'll, I'll try and sneak around the back. In fact, yeah, you could come in behind them because I assume it's the same people I'm you still get if you come in the other way. Yeah, I'm still in free play, so uh, you... Ah, oh, shit. All right, let me see if I can smack down the door. <laughs> well, I'm I'm currently... It's uh, Astarian's turn, so I'm just seeing what abilities he has available to him. Oh, he has a grease bottle and can shoot fire, so that might work here. Yeah, you might be okay. Uh, I can't get in through the front door. It does mean that I'll... Ha oh, yeah, it's locked, I think, isn't it? Yeah. You'll have to jump down the hole with me. Down the hole. To be fair, with you here now, I s can Gale do... No, sorry. <laughs> can Clyde do uh, fire? Uh, I can put grease down. And and yeah, do sorry, fire. I can do fire. I can cool, do fire. so if I put grease down on your turn, you can do fire. Yeah. Magnificent. Oh, there's some explosive barrels in there as well. Even better. Um, and then I don't think there's anything worth me doing at this point, except maybe, wait. Oh, be careful there, you're next to the grease. But yeah, shoot the barrel if you can. I can't oh, shoot. No, I, I was trying know. to dip my weapon in the grease, but it won't let me. When it's on fire, you'll be able to dip your weapon. So I'm just going to move away so that when you blow it up, it's fine. Uh, and then yeah. I'm going to hide we'll because um, I'm a stealthy, That's a good idea. stealthy guy. Then you can get sneak attacks, yeah. Now they're probably going to hurt us. Oh no, they're leaving. Oh, maybe they're getting out the grease. The AI might actually be intelligent. Yeah, the, the AI is intelligent. Haha, <laughs> you've missed, bitch. Oh yeah, I see the barrels though. They... He just threw something at a wall. They, they failed to do anything, so you can save us now. Oh, come on. Yeah, really? but that's oil, so that should also be flammable. So now you should be able to set fire to the whole lot. Yes. I assume fire should spread between surfaces that are both flammable. Yes, you're right. Hey, pal. Bye-bye. <laughs> there we go. That had the desired effect. Yeah, you can dip into that as well. Uh, move, Clay. <laughs> I mean, if he was going to hit you with a thing, hamstring's not too bad. It means that I'm slowed, but as a wizard, I guess it's not too big an issue. Yeah. Should I just run into the fire, seeing as I'm half... Um... Half resistance. Yeah, um... I can't actually reach him, so I guess I'll just run halfway and shoot him with a bow. I'll dip I'll dip your weapon into a fire, into the fire. I need a little extra edge. And Lovely. then that means next turn... Might even be... Uh, yeah, next turn you all have... Nice, there you go. 
How much health does this person in front of me have? Seven. So there's no point in me doing anything other than just hitting him. There we nice go. One. The fire killed him then as well. <laughs> the extra damage helped. Now I'm going to get... It. Now I'm going to have to face tank everything. Yeah, now you're going to have to get past your fat self. Um... Can I shoot anybody from here? Probably not, no. So, I'm going to have to probably get unhidden because... Oh, no, hiding successful. Cool. Yep. And then... Wait. Zip your that's, uh... I'm, I'm, I've picked the wrong kind of attack. One sec. What have I got? That, your weapon. that. I don't think I can dip a bow, so I didn't try. Yeah, you can. Oh, can you? Oh, I'll do, I'll do that now, then. Infuse it. Fair enough. Learning new things. Yeah. Hey, come within here. Did, did they just unlock the door for us? Maybe. Maybe they're trying to run away. They saw me, like, mm. come running through the fire like a mad demon, and now they're fleeing. Fleeing in terror. Hey, I leveled up. Yay, level up. Hey. Ah. Uh, you know what? You go there, pal. You know, I think it's totally um, unnecessary for these people to have immediately attacked me. I did nothing wrong. All I did was jump down a hole. For all yeah. they knew, I, I'm perfectly innocent and just fell in it. You just fell in. Exactly. I just fell in a hole and now look at it. Completely unnecessary. Oh, so he's a barbarian. Uh-oh. It's okay. Cause... Why are they aiming? Why are they aiming for me? <laughs> well, you set them all on fire. You're clearly the most dangerous. You're in the door. Um, standing in the fire like a madman. Speaking of, another day, another fight. Forgot about that. I didn't forget about that. You're gonna have to redo your, your action. Yeah. yeah. I just nice wanted one. to try and kill their mage. I didn't quite kill them. They have one hit hit point left. That's uh, fine. Probably oh, wait, wait, wait. Pummel strike. Oh, I missed. Uh, I thought that would finish him off. You know what? So that's annoying because well, I have an 80% chance to hit as well. Yeah. Uh, sneaky, okay. sneaky. Why am I waiting? I could make my actions at this point, can't I? There no, I turn order. Never mind. Yep. That's how the game works. Yeah, I forgot about turn um, order. Last I, time we had all of our actions. I probably don't want to be together. in the doorway because you might need to come through. So I'll move to here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to run through soon. Will will need to come in. Okay, so I, I wasn't sure if he was still hidden or not. Clearly he wasn't. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, uh, da, da, da. With a bit of luck, you might you can definitely take out the barbarian. Oh. Or not. Oh, for fuck's sake. Higher defense. Will. Come on, Will. Okay. Clyde can take out the barbarian. Mm, nope. Not enough movement. Oh, no. Can you hit Mary? The other one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. What? Through the door? Come oh, on. There's another one coming now as well. Okay, so... Onk him for me. <laughs> I'm thinking about where I can do the uh, most damage and where I'm most likely to hit. It's 65% chance to hit on both of them with melee. Mm. 55 with ranged. Guess you know what you're doing. Alright. That's cool. Oh, it's 55 if I throw fire as well, so I might as well just do melee. Yeah, hold on to it for now. Oh, I think um, setting fire to my hand used action, so I can't attack now. Oh. I'm going to stand next yeah. to this archer to put, dissuade them from attacking you. Okay. Can you just... 42. 42. 
Oh, is it because he's poisoned? I'm saying so, As uh, Astarian's not got very high chances to hit right now. No. <laughs> Disadvantage. To be fair, sneak. Uh, if you don't have, you've got advantage to be able to sneak attack. You can't have can't have disadvantage against target. Oh, it's because of the attack I've got. I'll just try this. Yeah, Get lucky. Hey, he got lucky. Hey. No, he's still alive. But he's got gaping wounds, Ow. so I think he might die on his next turn. Cool. Push him into me. That didn't work. I tried. I did everything I could. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Slide is down. You standing in front of me didn't help. <laughs> uh, mm. I'm like, hit me. I'm we right here. Be we should be able to at least win the fight, and then we'll be able to pick Clyde up. The, remember, there's another guy coming with full health, and he's got 18 health. Okay, we'll help up Clyde in the next turn then. Yes. Does Clyde get to like roll to get up? I don't. This is the first time someone's. Uh, gone yeah, down. you see how there's the two bars on each side. Yes. Uh, the left side is your saving throws, and the right side is your uh, fails. Uh, so yeah, the left side is your successes, right side is your fails. So if you His fail two rows, throw, then you die. Three rows. Three. Okay. At yeah. that point, we then need to pay somebody to revive you. Uh, no, at that point, if we still have his body, we can use Scroll of Revivify. Oh, yeah, we've got a few of them, haven't we? I think most yeah. most of us have one. Yeah, but for now... Uh... We cross our fingers. <laughs> this guy's got high dexterity, so he's able to tank a lot of attacks. Actually, don't get too close to... Uh... Is there an explosive somewhere? Why? I have an explosive spell that I could try because uh, they're both right next to me. So as long as they stay, oh, so right you're there, saying I should just use do... I should just do a range attack. Use range, range, yeah, because uh, I'll be able to use a spell that'll take out take on two of them. I'll, in that case, I'll aim one for of the stronger one. Yes, that'll mean you can do the most damage overall. And um, can I heal myself? Then with uh, Asterion, if you could use the help option on me to pick me up. Clyde, you live. You're alive. Thank you, friend. You have earned my trust this day. And um, that used my action, so I'll just move him out <laughs> of the way. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, we should have seen that one coming. They went for the easiest target. Okay, fuck you. Well, that could have gone better. Jesus Christ, they just love tanking on Clyde, so don't I'm, they? I, I'm just going to go beat the archer up at this point, I think. Yeah, just go fucking kill him, Shouldn't bastard. Your enemy. We tried being runs smart away, about this. Now we'll just Clyde the and way. then runs even further away. What a bastard. <laughs> Poor Clyde. <laughs> nice one. No, we just need to kill the last one. Quickly. Oh, the bleeding killed her. <laughs> Led to death. We're all good. Okay, so what do we need to do with Clyde now? Uh, come over to him and use the help command again. Oh, I was going to say, you could also do it with Will. Can't reach destination. What do you mean you can't reach destination? He's right here. <laughs> I found a key. We all have level ups. One of them had a key. Yeah, yeah, levels, levels the... mean quite a lot in this game, don't they? That'll be for the big door uh, behind us. Yeah. Uh, they all have leather armor as well, so if you need any, if there's anyone that like would do a leather armor, I can probably give you some. Clyde might need it. Oh, also, journey uh, I was through the jungle. 
I was thinking when it comes to loot, at it's, the end all of it's all mine. Dungeon. It's all mine. No. No. There is no discussion. Find his keepers. No. I suffer the most damage because each. I'm a soldier and I work from the front. No. <laughs> <laughs> because that will make this game end very quickly. <laughs> if you need money, you because can ask me I for a loan. I will not have any good loot. No, fuck you. <laughs> oh, just found a uh, supply pack. Actually, there's a bunch of food in here, so I'm going to pick all of this up. You can tell what kind of gamer I am. I'm basically a Di Diablo gamer. I'm just like running around, stealing all the loot from everything. Yeah, please remind me to never play an actual D&D campaign with you. <laughs> no handle. How does it I'm basically looting whatever crap I can get just to get some money. If you ask me nicely, I'll lend you some. It'll only have a 20% no. interest rate. Yeah, no. Have you seen the economy right now? It I can't just be giving away gold for free. Have you seen these Ancient, nuts? Indecipherable text I need to turn off teams. I will just be a second. <laughs> you get notifications from work? Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take a short rest just okay, so Okay, that know. should be better now. <laughs> I'll feel that one later. And I'm also gonna do my level. Find Fine level dust three. coats the pages of this weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Grobium tipler illimitar. Drowning. Ivian something something. Eternal rot. Devon something something. Fever. That's curious. Ooh, I found a lever. Can I pull it? It's um, it's a lever uh, in yeah, the. It's a lever in the mouth a... of a skull. That's cool. I think we should probably I should probably level up before I do something that could trigger something dangerous. I, I think it just leads into the dungeon we already cleared. Ah, okay, that would make sense. Hmm. I uh... am now a fighter level three and apparently I'm a battle master. Battle I have master. eight more hit points. And I get superiority dice. Whatever that means. Yes, I mean, uh, basically, you could use an extra dice. I think it's a D8 or something like that to um, do extra attacks in combat. Uh, just extra abilities, okay. like knocking down so, your enemies, disarming them. Yes. Like I don't have to be a battle master. I can also be an Eldritch Knight or a champion. Hmm. So if I pick Eldritch Knight, it looks like I get spells. And champion, improved critical hit. The number you need to roll a crit when attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. I'm just reading what superiority dice says it does. Yeah. Oh god, there's a bunch of different maneuvers I can pick. Or what happened if I pick being an Eldritch Knight? It looks like I get the same sort of spells normal wizards get. Yeah, Eldritch Knight basically just means that you're I can effectively do magic. multi-classing. Yeah. And Champion doesn't tell me it does anything particularly special apart from improving crit hit. Does Champion do anything more cooler than that later? Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's like a, just a passive upgrade. Yeah, it's it's a pretty useful one if you've got a crit build going on. Um, Except I don't know enough about this game to really do a build yet, so. Yeah. Probably going with Battle Master and taking the maneuvers Battle Master's, good. Yeah, Battle Master's the go to for fighter class. Okay. Uh, did you Disarming attack switch? sounds overpowered. Yeah, it's useful. It's hella good. I'm taking disarming attack. Sorry, you're about to ask me a question. Uh, yeah, where did, where was that uh, switch? Can Next to my it? character. I haven't pulled it. I thought I'd level up first. 
Well, I can do precision attack. That allows me to increase my chances of hitting. So that sounds like a really good idea. Mm. Yeah, we don't... We... Oh, wait, hold up. Is that use it and then you don't get an action? Or It says you can spend a die to add it to the result of an attack roll. So if I need to make a hit, I can increase the chances okay. of that happening. That's better than what I was thinking of then, because there's a spell uh, for regular d and I think it's in this game as well, but I don't know if it's any better, uh, where you basically spend an action to get a advantage on your next attack. Okay. Which is a waste of a turn because two attacks are better than one attack. <laughs> okay, so or two potential attacks are better is, than. Would it one be better to take attack. things that allow me to do other attacks? Then would you say? Uh, because I can. I, can... I think the one that increases your hit chance is probably an all right one. But it's up to you how you want to build it. Oh, I have one that I can frighten the target with menacing attack. That sounds very me. Hmm. Make them run away. Oh, uh, you know that room with the undead uh, that come to life? Have you found a way back to it? Uh, yes, exactly. Um, so during Clyde's uh, communication with himself, uh, his alter self told him that if you loot the weapons off of the... Uh, scribes. Yes. They basically just start spamming spells at you. Okay. And it's really, really annoying because the spells hit harder than the weapons would. <laughs> <laughs> but it's useful against that one uh, knight that you killed. Okay, so I'm, I'm leveling up. Um... Yeah, that makes sense. You know what? I swear he was swinging at me with his fists. That might have been why he couldn't hit me. You might have, I might have already his looted his beforehand. weapon. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, so, the the default for I'm I'm tempted with the um, I need to remember not to say um while I'm talking. It doesn't sound good on video. I'm I'm sure all the people watching have already tuned uh, out because I can't string a sentence uh, together. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Anyway, uh, our vampire friend has defaulted to arcane trickster for his subclass. Okay, that sounds reasonable for him. The that other options are assassin and thief. Assassin, I think, will probably be useful. Assassin characters are Assassin... usually pretty good in games. Assassin's good if you are able to sneak up on enemies before the combat. Okay, which, which well, realistically, how often is that going to happen? So I'm going with Arcane Never. Trickster. <laughs> yeah. I had a player use uh, that one in a campaign of mine, and I had to cater situations particularly for them. Yes, it that makes sense. Uh, yeah, wasn't great. Do you do you have bone chill on anyone? Uh, no. I'm gonna take bone chill in case we get something that heals a lot, so that it can give us a chance to kill it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Stops them from healing, don't it? Yes. I need more necroma necrotic damage. I do. Um, I, I want in my own time, I think, to play a game where I play a necromancer. I like necromancers in games. I don't know how they are yeah. in D&D, &D, but I think it would be cool. I have never seen someone play as a necromancer in d, &D. I mean, it's a school of magic in D&D, &D, so yes. I don't know how... Yeah. I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take Blade Ward on him as well, because then he can be a bit more front line. Um, yeah. Without any real issues. I need to remember to cast fucking Mage Armor. Charm, Color Spray, Disguise Self, Tasha's Hideous Laughter, and Sleep. Me. What do we think of... I feel like I should get Charm Person, given he's a vampire. Uh, Charm Person... It would be useful if we have someone who is not a huge fan of us at the start... Uh, but I have Detect Thoughts, which is going to do very similar at this point in time. Can you use um, Sleep during combat? Yes, that's what it's intended for. Then I will take Knock that. Knock out enemies for a turn or two. I'm going to take that and the Laughter one, because that looks like it also stops them doing anything. So he can do a bit of um, crowd control then. Mm-hmm. 
And then I get one wizard spell. What wizard spell do I want? Oh, uh, you don't have grease, do you? You just had the one pot of grease. Yeah, I just threw a pot of grease that he happened to have on him. Okay, so I need to... To be fair, as, a, as my main character can throw fire at any point, it might be good to have more people that can use grease. We could definitely make use of that. I've got grease and fire myself, so that would be I quite bother, purpose. Then. Yeah. False life. That sounds like something a vampire would use. Hmm. Additional life. I'm making a very tanky uh, thief character. Or rogue. I say that I'm currently just uh, looking through everything. Yeah, I'm exploring. I've picked what I'm sure is not useful, but I like the idea of him having it. Uh, did you come and do this lever? You did, didn't you? Yeah, I'm already outside now. And you've um, already leveled up both your guys, yeah. And I've looted my chest, yeah. Uh, found a person. Are you fat? Should I come to you then? Yes. Where exactly are you? What's the best way of getting there? Uh, leave the temple, uh, out through the secret entrance, the ladder, if you're there. Uh, and then follow along the, just the path to oh, the Oh, did you, have you also, you had the shovel. Have you dug up the yes, mold? Yes, I've already dirt. looted the chest because if I let you go to it, you would have looted it from me. Like I last don't time. like your insinuations. You did it last time. I don't like your insinuations. I don't like you stealing. It's finders keepers. It's not stealing if no. you find it first. No. I found it. <laughs> I found it and dug it up and you stole it. <laughs> it is not finders keepers. It is theft. Jeremy does not like how you're speaking about him. Okay, right. I'm going to come thunder wave you off a cliff. Here I am coming <laughs> to help you. Oh, God, where are you? I, do I, it I, don't myself. I don't know if I've, I've gone the right way to get to you here. Where are you? Yeah, yeah, you're going the right way. Just follow west. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you found anything good? Uh, oh, I yeah, got an mine. extra ally. Oh, that, yeah, sure. I have some books. Yeah. I don't know if they're any use to you. Uh, I like books, so I'll take them. I'll transfer them all to you. They're actually worth something as well, so I don't want to hear any more about how Yay. I never give you anything. Thank you for giving me... Oh, wow, they actually were... are worth a decent amount. Where did Told you. you. Here, you can have ink pots and a quill as well, because I can't write. That's fine. I'll take them. I've got a gold key, and I don't know what it's for. Is this torn net trap that you got caught in? Broken. Uh, no. Must have been here a while. Uh, I just assumed as a wizard you had no survival skills. I have many survival skills. I just get targeted by all around yeah. enemies. There's a lot of broken traps here. Scene. Should I be concerned? Oh, hello. I'll come nah, and join I'm you. I'm in a cutscene. You'll see why. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Oh, just have we found our um, gift friend or whatever it's called? Here she is, yeah. yeah. Here she her is. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Oh, we should probably help her in that case. Yeah, we need a cure. Um, personally, I'd probably just attack them. That's why but I'm not you. We, we're clearly the superior party here. We're level three, and I bet they're no more than level two, so we can just kill them. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. Killing people needlessly solves nothing. What's, what you blast? hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I mean, we already know where the camp is, but... Yeah, run it anyway. <laughs> it's literally a five. It's The game's it's basically... More experience. Like, the game is just like, you need to know this uh, this information. Yeah. If the difficulty class Northwest. is five, it's just something it Look wants you to do. Whatever your wound, Ooh. she can mend it. And be oh, careful. Okay. 
There are goblin traps everywhere. Yeah, we met some goblins. No, Mesa. They are team friendly. Come. I guess we might need to return to the town then, because they said talking. a new name. Get me down. They please. They please. You're so rude. <laughs> you need to make them beg. They like to have to beg. Hello, girl. I've come to be your master again. Oh, you beat me to the thing. Scrambled all your senses. It's because I did the trap. But the my people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. So she runs off on her own, gets captured, and now is demanding we do what she wants. <laughs> it is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. That just sounds like they're going to kill us. Yeah, I was going to say, that doesn't sound uh, amazing. Uh... A simple thank you wouldn't go on this. You may as well suggest a wide I wonder if I can just tell all the companions to bugger off if I play the this on my own. I offer will suffice as thanks. Should we have her in the party? I mean, we'd have to get rid of what's his face. Obviously, but... well, if if you click, we'll go our separate ways. Does that just send her to the camp? Yes. You are full up. Dismiss well, yeah, your weakest warrior. Oh, you'll have to leave us then, Clyde. You could just leave and like leave her here and never have her in the group, I guess. Very well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I'm upset by that Zoru. statement that I am the weakest one on the team. On it. it took you a moment to uh, to understand Do the connotation there, and given your strength is meant it to was, be your intelligence, take... then I it didn't take, stand by it didn't my take statement. Me time to... I, I I understood the insult from the beginning. I just, you, you're I was, just implying you have a weak mind and couldn't take it. I was just shocked that you said it. <laughs> you were shocked in real life by my also, statement. Also, yes, my willpower isn't exactly amazing. I've only got default willpower, so... <laughs> um, yeah, so we have now done all of this like starting area, it looks like. Yes. There isn't anything else for us to uh, find here. So we should head back no. up north into where the grove and that is. Yes, because uh, we have people to speak to in the town if you look at the map. Yes, but I think we should do that in the next episode. Sounds like a plan. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed the, uh, the adventures of Jeremy and Clyde. Until next time, have a very nice day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.